Hi, I am Sai Thar Nadpineni and I will be discussing about the machine teaching for robots project. Robots have been integrated into our lives for many decades to help speed up basic tasks and automate them. Novice users who wish to use torque controlled robots to perform tasks for them are increasing. This has made learning from demonstration an intuitive way to teach robots to perform tasks as it takes less time and is more resource efficient. This approach shows much promise and has been proven to be an efficient way for novice users to use robots. Machine teaching is one of the many methods that is an example of learning from demonstration. Because the learning algorithm is already known, in this project it is the most suitable method to choose. However, a major problem with this method is that it is heavily dependent on the teacher delivering good quality teaching. Otherwise, this method can fail in introducing effective and accurate results. Therefore, the teaching given to a robot must be of good quality for them to reproduce the motor skill with high accuracy. The aim of this project is to improve the quality of training that is given by humans to complex robots. This is so robots can perform tasks with higher efficiency. This will make robots capable enough to perform tasks with a similar accuracy to the human teacher. For past research done on this problem, the skills taught weren't very beneficial for humans in the real world and the robots used were rudimentary. In this project, a two-link robot arm was taught two useful motor skills which humans can benefit from teaching to a robot in the real world. The robot's learning performance is compared against the training data to assess if high quality training data can truly improve the learning performance of the robot. Past research shows that providing the learner with optimal data can improve the learning performance significantly. However, as the video demonstration shows, the skill demonstrated to a motorized simple pendulum is to follow oscillations. This motor skill isn't very useful or beneficial for humans and the robot used isn't very practical. The two skills which were taught in this project are using a two-link robot arm model designed in MATLAB. The first skill is to follow a fixed trajectory from a starting point to an end point. The second skill is to reach out from one point in space to another point in space. The aim of experiment 1 was to teach the learner a fixed trajectory from the starting point and must come to rest when it reaches the target point. In this experiment, the results show that giving the learner optimal training data rapidly reduced the error in learning the skill. The aim of experiment 2 was to teach the learner how to reach out from a folded position and to come to rest when it reaches the target point. In this experiment the results also showed that giving the learner optimal training data rapidly reduced the error in learning the skill. However, this experiment showed that teaching a more complex skill can result in a greater error in learning the skill compared to the slightly easier skill taught in experiment 1. A constraint that was faced during this project is the number of trials conducted and the samples collected in the experiments were limited by the controller used for the robot due to the nature of the controller implemented for the robot's motion the execution time of the code was significantly high which resulted in less trials and samples collected in the experiment due to this the learning performance of the robot was slightly worse compared to the one from past research if more trials could have been conducted with a collection of more samples the learning performance can be higher A conclusion can be drawn from this project that it is possible to teach useful motor skills to more complex robots that can automate tasks for humans. Learning from demonstrations has proven to be a promising approach for teaching skills to robots as it is an intuitive method. This project has proven that giving high quality teaching in the form of training data can significantly improve the learning performance of the learner. In the future this work can be taken further by developing an interface where humans can teach physical robots skills that they wish for them to learn 
a more efficient control method can be used which is less computationally taxing thank you for watching my demonstration